Hello everybody, this is Video Lancer. Today, we'll consider development and animation of a similar 3D site in After Effects with the help of Plugin Element 3D. But before we start, I've got news for you. I have hidden a little secret in this video. Whichever one of you will find it first will get $100 transfer through PayPal from me. I will announce the winner in the next video. In the meantime, others are looking for this secret. Subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment under this video. What tutorial would you like to see next time? Well, let's start. Make a screenshot of the site. I use Full Page Screen Capture Extension. Import the screenshot into After Effects. Create a new composition with full HD resolution. Drag and drop the screenshot here. Place the screenshot so that an upper half of the site was fitted in the composition. Try to avoid a similar half pixel effect. Make sure that all lines are sharp. Call this composition Shot Level 1. Duplicate this composition and place the screenshot so that the second half of the site was fitted in the composition. The more sites levels you want to show, the more similar compositions will be required. Now create main comp of the project. Drag and drop composition with the screenshots into this comp. Then we'll create masks for elements that should be in 3D. In my example, they are covers of video. Duplicate this level 1 comp. Set 50% transparency for the copy below. We'll use it as a reference layer. Create a square mask on the top player. In order to double the mask, push hotkeys Ctrl D. In order to shift the mask, push Ctrl T. Now let's create masks for background panels. Delete unwanted reference layer and repeat all the steps for the level 2 comp. Next, we'll continue working in Element 3D plugin. Create a new solid and apply Element 3D. Go to the Custom Layers tab. Here, set layers as Path Layer. Here, set layers as Texture Maps. In order to optimize textures calculation, Set first frame in the sampling layer parameter. Now let's go to scene settings. Create the first extrusion model for level 1. Set level 1 as texture and setting of the material. In order to match texture with 3D model, set the checkbox Use Layer as UV. In order to dispose of these white edges, reduce the value of expand edges. Duplicate the model and set Custom Path 2. Set Level 2 in the settings of the material. Shift the model so that its position could be the same as on the original site. Create a new group folder and drop these models here. Rename folder to Covers. Create a new extrusion model for background panels. Set Custom Path 3 and for Texture, Level 1. Fit the mode in accordance with position of cover models. Duplicate the model. It will be the last lower section with panels. Set Custom Path 4 and Level 2 in the settings of the material. Create a group folder and name it Panels. Move models with panels into this folder. Now let's add 3D volume to the model with covers. To do this, 
just change position and scale along with the z-axis. In order to change position of individual element of the model, click on it while holding Control key. Change the size of other individual panels so that they are not in the same plane. Next, we'll create the bar with channel banner. As for my channel, it is extrusion of the logo, which was made in Element 3D. Here we will do the same. Just copy masks in Adobe Illustrator and paste to solid in After Effects. Set this solid in the fifth slot for path layer. Create a new extrusion model for the logo. Add some suitable material. For example, this one. Now, let's make a model for the background of the logo. As you can see on the final render, there are small mirror reflections on the panel. Although the Element 3D has this feature, it is very limited and simplified. We can make a nice reflection effect only on flat surfaces. As our model consists of several blocks that are at different heights, we should divide the model into several parts. Switch off display of this block and duplicate the model. Here, return the display of this block and switch off everything else. Switch on Side View Mode. Select Mirror Surface in the Reflect Mode parameter. Turn Surface Mirrors so that it is parallel to the model plane. Shift Surface into a one line with the model plane. Now reflection is hardly noticeable. In order to strengthen it, just increase reflection intensity in the settings of Material. Repeat all the steps for the upper block. Due to reflections, some elements of design look dim. In order to correct it, you can copy Diffuse Texture into Reflectivity slot. Next, we'll prepare the model for animation. Divide folders with models into individual groups. Set the first and the second group for the Covers folder while holding the Shift key. Later, you will see why. Set Group 3 for Panels folder. Now, you can click OK. Next, we'll animate Side Appearance. First, Background Panels will appear, then Covers Models. We'll animate them by two different methods. So, create a new camera. Temporarily disable Groups 1 and 2 in Plug-in Settings. We'll return to them later. Switch on Multi-Object option in the settings of Group 3. Animate Displace and Position parameters on Y-axis. Smoothen the animation end in Graph Editor. Let's add Rotation Animation. Now the logo is broken into several parts. It doesn't look good. Alternatively, it can be animated individually. Go to Scene Settings. Select the Logo Model and add Channel 1 in the Auxiliary Animation section. Go back to After Effects into the Aux Channels tab. Animate Scale for Channel 1. Now we should delete Covers image from Panel Texture because Covers will be animated as individual group. To do this, duplicate compositions with screenshots. 
Here, hide all the cover images, overlapping them using shape layers. Now replace the compositions we use for panels in main comp while holding the Alt key. Also, add them as texture map. Replace textures in all models of panels group in scene settings. Next, we animate covers models. Switch on groups 1 and 2, as well as multi-object option for them. Switch on animation engine option and set 50% value for the animation parameter. Now animating any parameter in group 1, all the elements will be gradually transformed into group 2. Set element size on 0 in group 1. Animate the parameter animation in the tab Animation Engine. In order to change animation direction, change the Angle and Directional Options settings. Set Ease Type on Ease Out. Finally, you can add a small rotation animation for elements. Well, we are done with animation of 3D models. Next, we should animate the camera. Not to waste your time, I will not describe this stage in detail. If you are not experienced in camera animation, I recommend you see Andrew Kramer's tutorials. If you do not have time to study, but you want to make cool professional videos quickly, try our ready-to-use presets for After Effects and Premiere Pro. Here you can find more than 4,000 transitions graphic elements, motion design templates, and many others. All links are in the description. So back to the tutorial. All we've got to do is set up a render. Switch on Ambient Occlusion. Add extra lighting and customize it. It's ready. Well, it was Video Lancer. Bye.